Welcome to another match analysis video. Today's video is going to be on Narva Calf Rasa V1, and is going to be pretty much a complete roll in our favor. This is not a close match, and it is not the most interesting match in terms of the interplay between our team and the enemy team, but it does have a few valuable lessons and a lot of good early game Ras play, where you can really see the way I treat Ras on smaller maps such as Narva. Now the enemy team's leadership was not terrible, but they did not have the same grasp of Ras, they did not react to the changing of the flags quickly enough, and they did not get a good enough early presence in the points that matter. Similarly, once things started going downhill, they simply did not react fast enough. We were able to easily outpace them, which ultimately led to a very quick roll. A couple of notes before I start the clips. I have a full squad of clanmates, or at least friends of the clan, and I am playing alongside leaders who are very capable and I'm very familiar with. So, the likelihood of the enemy team actually pulling ahead of us here was already slim. This is a very, very strong team. Fairly stacked, if we're being honest. Going against a team that was decent and definitely had good performance, but probably didn't have the same level of shooters or micro game and almost definitely didn't have the same RAS knowledge that our team has. So as I mentioned, this isn't a proud victory or anything, this is just a good display of competent, fast um, communication and teamwork, good RAS knowledge, and really fast redeployment that ultimately put the enemy team a step behind the entire match. Have a tap if you can. Cap's gonna go south. Standing by. Nah, if he goes south, we would have been south. Far. We'll go with ice. Give me a second, I'll tell you. Alright, who's caught one? You don't have a lucky? Or do you? Hey, Alright, well, you, you, uh, you and Pink can. Yeah, we're. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody who doesn't have a lucky, try to see me. Oh, airfield is a shit cap. Airfield on doesn't next confirm cap lane at all. It can go to next all. Round. I'm gonna handle uh, mid lane and go to train. Looks like somebody's handling south, somebody's handling north, so we should be good. But I'll let you know what the lane is with next flag for sure. Last couple of matches have always been so. I have a feeling it's gonna come south. So the south farm is the biggest confirmation for south airfield is like. <laughs> hey, Excuse me, sir, cap. May I have anybody? Anyway? Commander on deck, all systems online. Alright, so it's time to talk about Narva Ras. It's three lanes. You got an east lane that will kind of go north of this road along here. You have a central lane that will kind of tear along here. And then you have a west lane, which will come down here. Um, usually, the Narva first flag will clarify which lane it's going to be. However, in this case, with it being airfield in the live match, this is firing range, but in the live match with it being airfield, that is actually one of very few flags that does not confirm lane. Airfield can go to any lane. However, you can use a trick to determine the likelihood of each lane. Ultimately, the game chooses the lane prior to choosing the objective, which means um, if airfield is one in two on a certain lane but one in six on another lane and then airfield pops up you know that it is most likely that the game has chosen the lane that airfield is more common in airfield will appear on the map more times when that is the case you can do the exact math with conditional probability and figure out the exact percentages but it kind of doesn't matter on narva because one in two back caps for south or for west and for east lane are going to be airfield, and then central lane, I believe it is one in six. Let me double check that right now. Yes, one in six will go to airfield. So we know that it is unlikely to be central lane, it is far more likely to be north lane or south lane. Now ultimately, as I said, on Narva this doesn't matter much because it's still equally likely to go to opposite ends of the map, and honestly the central lane midpoints and the north lane or east lane midpoints are fairly close together, and you can cover most of them off of a single fob uh, as long as you're willing to go for a small walk and spread your squad out. So it's not the greatest map for using that as an actual benefit to determining the lane you want to take, and ultimately here I'm still just going to take 
uh, whatever's left over. We have a competent team. They know it's a three lane split, and they're already placing markers to cover north and, uh, or sorry, east and west lane. So I'm preparing to cover central lane. Let's get that on a trade. Let's get that on a trade. No. We're taking central Guess lane. Guess what? What you doing? You need a lot of transport. Airfield doesn't clarify lane, so. Pink and stiff. I'll get back up. Uh, I need one more person to hop in the tab V. Uh, drop one person at airfield. And then head for second central lane back up. Which so is going to be five, in the vicinity of Geneva or Old be Hospital. Squad one. So go towards uh, 2 mark. Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody else. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I still have no lap. This is a five flag and we're heading for the midpoint, which will be the third, but I want uh, three backcappers in the MRAP just so that they can drop one at one location, um, the first location that's confirmed, one at the next location, which is a predicted central lane, and then I still have one person in the MRAP who can swing down south or go up north if it ends up going to a different lane, and they're out of position, since I have told the entire team that I'm handling backcaps. This is the biggest reason why I usually grab Light Vix in RAS in general, is so that I can handle the backcaps for at least my respective lane, and possibly for the entire match, depending on how spaced the backcaps are and how big of a map it is. It's all good. I'll be in the same location. Hey, heard you guys We're on the Canadians, boy. Let's drop one person to airfield, one person in, to mark, and then hop in to move mark. Hold spawn, Alan. Wait for spawn to go up. Nearly leaving. Yes. Are you squat two? Just let me know when. Just let me know when. I'm retarded. That sounds oh, like squat two. Yo, we didn't think otherwise, you know. No, no. Whoa, dude, sick dive. <laughs> bro, <laughs> stop dive, bro. So which back caps are we doing? On? Airfield. Charlie move. Charlie move would be close to the second one if it's a central lane. Which is what we're covering. If you're wondering if I'm better in your logic, I've spread them out all. Squad 2, I think you have most of my guys. So, Command, just let me know that most of his guys are in my truck, which is no problem, because I think he's covering North Light and I'm close anyway, so, shouldn't be an issue. Oh, I always forget about this wall. Gonna high center us on it. Mark that armor up on me, guys. I'm nervous. We're doing an aggressive mid push against a good team. So, as mentioned, this is pretty aggressive. BTRs can beat us if they hit roundabout and go down my road, but it's not normally too common. And we have a good team covering the rest of the area, so I'm not too worried if I fuck up. It's a graphical bug. They aren't actually worth that. Alright, are you guys ready for the patented train station captain barrel roll? Yes. Bring it on. I'm ready for the 30 mil. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check and that me. is how you do it. You guys are bearing witness to some pro strats here. Again, are you guys taking notes? That was so I'm setting up a weird train fob here, not very conventional. I just don't want it to get proxied from east wall, uh, since I'm expecting people to come from either train station or train apartments. Yeah. And try this for once. Kind of try to keep it from getting proxied on east end, we'll see if this works out. Okay, spread out into midpoint uh, caps, so I'm marking some for you here. Get a couple of people across the river is nice, head to the two marks. When I said across the river, I meant across the train tracks. But anyway, this is one of the most important parts, because this is where I get back into the truck, get the map open, and get ready to react. This kind of play is what separates our team from their team. Textile is yeah, north I lane, I believe. I'm gonna double check. Textile may be north lane. Contacts are cast. 
Call out that armor, guys. Confirm textile is north lane. No eyes on armor yet. Someone want to tell those blueberries it's already marked? Push north. North lane confirmed. Alright, I see him swinging around. You can push south into contact and die if you want. I'm going to tag him with me on the north. main base. Can I get somebody in the lodge with me? Guys, uh, right here. I'll spawn in 20 seconds. Okay. Well, I'm useless over there. We got a Vic east of Castle moving in. Crossing the bridge. Vic crossing bridge east of Castle. <laughs> BTR. BTR. Fuck it. There's a Lodgy inside also, Castle. Lodgy is inside Castle. few things to break down. First of all, the squad that's out of position on West Lane mentions that they are out of position and gets ready to relocate, which is just music to my ears. Sometimes it takes blueberries 17 years to do this, but we have good SLs. I'm very happy with that. And second of all, as armor comes from um, Castle, I'm conveying that to the rest of the team so that our armor can deal with them. Armor is very powerful in Narva, especially if it gets early game kills and gets uh, complete map control. A couple of other notes, there's contact inside of Castle, and we have contact south across the train, which is what's going to prompt me fairly soon to start thinking, oh shit, where is the next flag? Which is something I should have been considering before. Right now, I'm purely in disengage from central lane, go to north lane mode, which means I'm trying to get people to me so that I can drive them to set up more uh, midpoint fobs on the north lane and get more map control up there. And I'm trying to get people to spawn shift as they die, since we're lucky and we have plenty of contact and that's going to be a possibility. However, the call out about Narva and me seeing the contact south across the bridge starts to get me thinking about the next flag. I pull that open, and I am able to see that we're actually in prime position for the next flag. That's still going to take me just a moment longer, and I wish I realized it earlier, but for now what I'm doing is I'm giving information for all of the possible midpoints for the north lane since uh, Command and other squads are setting up more fobs there before I really have the chance. BTR crossing the Dog Park, Downtown, Geneva, Narva Heights, Shopping Center. All possible north lane midpoints. Sorry, I'm just chilling while the BTR fucks his shit. The castle people are going to be on top of us soon, though, but I can't escape the south because of the train, so ready for this shit. I'm just going to wait to spawn like that. Sounds good. You can actually spawn north if you want. Midpoints are basically on our northmost fob right now. Please don't see me from roundabout, because this is my only option. Please don't see me from roundabout. Say stiff. Hey Alex, is that to uh, rotate for me to go to have I mean, I mean right now. Uh, we saw a logic over here. No, I think we did, but it went though. Oh, he's gonna drink. Dog park. Well, at what people look. I'm preparing for next flag in line. I'm preparing for next flag in line. I could use uh, a spawn hold. If you go down, hold spawns. This is the part where I get smart and I'm tabbed out looking at other flags, which is why I'm about to run into this barrier. Um, and I'll freeze frame the map and tell you what they're going to be in my thought process. Train uh, depot is a potential uh, next flag. Keep spawning yeah, train. No, no, Sorry, keep spawning time, train. Uh, no, what about no so the next possible objective is going to be train station, where we've already fobbed. Um, Castle View Apartments, which is fairly close to us. Castle, which uh, the enemy team has already fobbed, and potentially Kiriku, which is down on this fob creation mark that Command is heading towards. So given that Command is heading towards Kiriku, I'm going to consider that either covered or something where Command might die and we might get confirmation that it's going to be there. Um, I'm also considering Train Station to be covered, as well as, to some extent, Castle View Apartments, since we're fairly close and we could probably contest that and fight for it. My biggest concern right now is that it's going to appear within Castle, where the enemy has already fobbed. So I'm driving up to the north side of the map, which I've already been doing just to get out of the fight and to get ready to react using the Narva Road Network wherever it pops up. And now I'm starting to form my most likely plan, which is that I want to take that east road right next to the river and fob either northeast of Castle or southeast of Castle if I can coast it, and get something ready to use that east cliff to push in if that ends up being the flag. 
However, I'm not going to commit to that quite yet. I'm going to be on standby until we see where it pops up, and then I'm going to react to it. In the meantime, I have changed my mind, and I want people to keep spawning on train to try to maintain that midpoint, and I'm probably going to tell them to push east as well to try to maintain two of the midpoints, or next flags, not midpoints. Off east, one eye. Uh, maybe it's gonna do it can be train, it can be Kiraku, where three has their hab mark, it can also oh, be castle. Be There's one other option. Um, castle view no, apartments, which is on my point of interest. Oh. Put that alley over here. Be careful pushing in there, three. Is they will be on that back cap right now, if it's a back cap. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so what's gonna happen is it's either gonna go castle, in which I case we're fucked. Matter. It's gonna go castle view, in which case we can get it. Train, we can get it, or that south point, which three is hitting right now. So we're good for pretty much everything. Trains proxy. Yeah, west, west train, west train. Valley behind you to your west. Contacts. We're on standby to find out where it's gonna be. Long, can you try to unproxy train? Yeah, this position is extremely clear. Um, I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm getting shot at the streets, so. It's either gonna be castle, castle view apartments, or train. I then. don't know where I, I, I got train shot. Train seems from. likely given the circumstances. Because I couldn't even hear the gunshot. Enemy have northwest of Dog. You think they flanked around from the south there? Yeah. Ooh, uh, that's, Probably. that's. Yeah, we have to deal with that ASAP. And that's what C4. You're at Dog Apartments? Push move. Train. It is train. Yeah, they're pushing. Yeah, that's it's gonna get interesting. Hop out they if it's one man kill. Should we stay up in the fan? Uh, no, it's I going back to me. We're good. All train. All to train. Um, You can use the east. Or actually, just hold spawns if you're down. Just hold spawns. If you're alive, head to train. West of our weapons head. We need body. So let's talk options. I'm still committed to train. I imagine that another squad is going to be defending. I think I call for confirmation on that in command chat later and get it. And even though a fob did just go north of Dog Park, which is a pretty good fob, um, I do trust my team to defend. One of the luxuries of having a good team all around. So I'm going to go on offense with squad 3. Now, there are two fobs that I believe are influencing train right now, enemy fobs. There's the castle one, which I believe to be shitty and not really going to have the biggest effect, since it's a very uh, difficult push to get from castle to train, even if a single machine gunner is overwatching that entire side, and we have one and three near train who can do that. And um, the south fob, which I imagine was created near those two infantry marks, slash that hat mark south of train across the um, train tracks themselves. Uh, normally what I would do is I'd prioritize building kind of a wishy-washy defensive fob, say north of train or west of train, where people could just push to cap range and not be contested immediately. But because a lot of infantry has come in from the west, I imagine from that south fob, I don't want to do that first. I want to go build my offensive fob to take down that south fob first, hopefully stretch it far enough north that it's at least somewhat practical for actually getting to train in a timely manner, and it's a close enough spawn to be competitive as a defensive spawn for train when we eventually capture it, but we'll see. I may just have to build too far south. And then use the remaining 600 of supply I have as a more defensive fob as train starts to develop in our favor if we take out that south fob, or to even flank castle if that becomes essential. Now if you look at the map right now, you can see my dilemma for how I'm going to get there. East Road will eventually be hot because of both castle and because of the attention that Squad 3 is calling to the Caracol area. Um, the central highway, the two lane, will be definitely hot due to people dying right there in the contact west of train. And then anything further west of that, there was an armor call out, I'm not too worried about that, but it's just a lot of time. And I am going for kind of a convoluted approach by building my attack fob for the enemy spawn first. And um, there is a fob fairly close to our defense point at this point, or the midpoint. And so I do want to be a little bit faster than the west. So you can hear me make my decision in real time. I don't want to go down the east, I do want to go down the east. It'll be hot past castle, but I think we'll survive. You're mostly coming from the south of the train. Copy. You want me to stay as train? Yep. They'll be hitting me from the south, they're moving across the railroad. It's mostly that, um... 
south objective that they're hitting you from. Yeah, they're all over this over here. Can we get back up on train ASAP? We're gonna get fucked here. That is the capture zone. It doesn't even know it's dark apartments. So yes, everywhere. it does. It does mean that. We can train the they are on the ticket plate for the rest of the game. I would like to not die if anyone's listening, the the gods of squad. Blueberry doesn't know what he's talking about, they're coming from Berman. There's a infantry markers to our south. Charlie move mark. Oh, careful. Look both ways. We're, we're surviving, don't worry about it. Oh, that's enemy. <laughs> we'll, we'll live. I, I think it was AT. He had his rocket out. Oh shit. Okay, I'll throw him off. Ham is on the soccer field on the south side, and the radio is on my mark. <laughs> uh, I love this game sometimes. I love that half the time the shit I do just looks ridiculous. I just keep on doing it. Keeps on working. Like that. Yeah, the rally was to train, but she don't have much. What are we doing here? Bob south Bob's train. Bob south in there, Bob. They will be capturing sh train very shortly. Push cap range 3, I'm about to build a fob to flank theirs. We killed one guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I'm gonna drop a rally here, then we drive the truck up to the building ahead of us. Train is 90% for the Russian. I'm trying. Do I spot it, Rally? Yes, train spot Rally everywhere. Push Russia. north to train. I'm gonna get a fob closer as well. And dump the six. They're on to the dock. I'm ready to down northwest of uh, Dogs. Jesus Christ. There's an enemy Lodgy inside uh, here getting pulled out. It's coming in. Really? Hey, can you mark literally on top of the flag? They're literally like in the actual dog. Oh, 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 guys around. hit once. He's hit three times by me. Okay, we're gonna get shitty here. Just at the beach while they're all camping in the trains inside the depot. I they're didn't see anything when I was there. Yeah, dude, they're all in there. Jesus. Push north fast, they know we're coming from the same I got smoke from fucking the apartments directly west of it. Stealth is per. We're gonna position. try to kill the fob they have south of the train and let three handle cap range. I found that's fob. The, that's a lot of yeah, yeah, we have heavy contact on train, dude. Heavy contact train. We're on their fob to the south. Jeez, I'm in fob. Prime. Uh, we're getting pushed from the south. Don't know how. Push to hab, take it down a layer, and then keep pushing the train. Should be able to hear it. That he was friendly. looking at you, Cap. Please, the full squad is working his way. No, take the top from down the and of keep moving. We're out of time. Have a good day. When it comes to offense, as long as three things are fulfilled, we are always going to take the flag. The first thing is that I do not fuck up and lose the truck. The second thing is that as we take down fobs and take down enemy spawns, the enemy team is not reacting faster than I am and then able to create spawns faster than we can take them down, or create spawns while we're busy with cap range, and ultimately contest my fob heavy playstyle. And the third thing is time. It takes me time to capture a flag, and the defense has to hold for that amount of time. So I was really banking on time here, because the objective wasn't full capped, they didn't know Dog Park was the next one, and we have decent defenders. But ultimately our defense is starting to look sketchy, and I have taken a bit of a convoluted route by going this far south, even if it worked really well for taking out the hub. Hold up for me for two seconds for rally. Waiting, Perfect. waiting, waiting. The good news is that three pushed directly on cap range will be dealt with fob stuff. They were heavily contested to the south, but we just relieved that pressure, so we now should be neutralizing. The other good thing is we actually did have a lot of time bought by the fact that it wasn't full capped and our defense has held on. Can we use uh, commander abilities on castle? That's hard for us to push. Okay, while you're doing that, assuming things don't go double newt, I'm going to be prepping for next flag. I'll prep for stealth cap if things do go double newt. 
One more person south to me with Angatar, uh, whoever's last in line. We Not King, Pink's busy. Way. Let's take uh, Blanc, will you come back south, sorry, to Shruck? Oh my god. I know. Blanc can go. I'm, I like I'm to make you work, Blanc. I have is yeah, the middle of the castle, not on the map. Now I have a judgement to make here. I've asked Commander to try to take out the castle fob so that we can completely clean out train and have that in the bag and get the double newt at the very least for certain. And now I need to consider, do I want to prep for a double newt? Since a lot of the enemy team will now be spawn shifting to their last active spawn in the north that it's very possible. Or should I prep the next flag in mine and get ready for the roll should we actually neutralize train before dog starts to lose cap? On, uh, train as long as it gives us time, we'll probably be good. Don't dog. Dog will not last, but it may last long enough for us to take train. Your A10 Sorry. may give us long enough time to hold train for me to get double newts, and we may be able to roll them to mercy that way. That's what I'm counting on. Yep, there's the... Everyone's clear to leave dog parks. I'm dog heading for the next flags. Is that part? Yeah, dog is okay. full, full, full Gucci. Many buildings have been hit with the A10 Hab is already being rebuilt. Hello. Power plant is one possible mercy, other one is Turu Apartments, which I think is squad two point of interest. It's really starting to storm outside. We're able to the Push east outside of train depot and die, guys. Push east outside of train depot and die. The three of you here are getting back in the truck to head to Turu, and we're letting the people who die spawn on the fob that we just created for Mercy. Enemy have spotted north of uh, Dogger Park. They literally don't make any noise when they walk. What the fuck is going on? It's the new audio. Everybody who dies spawn at train on move mark. Hey, can we get a service repair station somewhere? I'm just gonna drop a power rally and plant. go for a run on the power plant. Yes, textile. Probably shouldn't have gone out the east, but here we are going out the east. Yeah, I can still lift. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to. We're like 65 percent, but it's a little lucky. Okay, don't die then. I guess we'll see how it goes. I thought it was better. I know they're coming from castle, but we just took down their fob uh, castle. Take enemy at least right temporarily. Northeast of Togo. I was hoping that things would go a little bit more smooth. Let's see how this goes. Enormous push is coming from the castle. I see absolutely so tons of enemy infantry. Keep it up, we're we got there. it. Okay, spawn power plant. Okay. Drive him back, okay. drive him back. Let's just get the plant. We need just one squad on pub. I'm already here. The should be enough to keep it. I'll just drive us in. Because of the I'll just drop you guys off on the edge cap. Squad 5? Honestly, I'll just drop you guys at the bridge so you can get ready to kill the lodgy that comes. Yeah, there's no way they can double neutral. Yeah, we're good. They can still double nude, but we'll, uh, we'll hold this easy. I'm dropping people off at the bridge now. I'm going for uh, a supply yeah, run. I'm impressed. Good shit, Alec. Yeah, we can make our position at Darkstall if you want. Can we find that fob? Good job holding train. I mean, you're already having yeah. Glory be. One's gotta push uh, on Castle from building. I just assumed somebody already checked uh, I'll keep some of my men for train so we don't get a double neutral now and become uh, a game. You have to be right on top. Just I have a strong hold on power. Train, yeah. Even if we go double nude, I have a strong hold on the south. I'll hold it for a long time for the stealth cap. Is there another point? We yeah, should sure. win no matter what. Nope. Yeah. We're, on mercy. we're just trying to full cap and we're going to Yep, to be expected. We're most likely going to uh, double new here and have to re go this train, but we'll probably yeah, win the game unless that happens. Yeah, I saw like, I've surely 20 rushes just like smacking it down towards the train.
So at this point, I'm just heading back to Maine to grab supplies in case things go unexpectedly bad, but my hold on power is very strong. I have people on the bridge, I have people on the point. I'm probably going to be able to hold that double newt for the rest of the match, even if we don't retake train. And we have very good SLs who are heading to train, who know how to stealth cap. Train isn't the hardest objective to stealth cap. This game is basically over. The most important thing to take from this is, once again, the ability to react to the fight. I reacted to train by getting onto power, and I made the correct call, and the enemy team needed to do the exact same thing. They needed to react to train falling to get to power, and then they could have been contesting me here. But instead, they just kept shifting their spawn to whatever fob remained, even if it was out of position, even if it wasn't any good. The entire enemy team is now spawning on a contested, outdated fob on train, instead of getting into lodges out of main or getting into vehicles out of main, and reacting to the battle as a whole and making new decisions. This is such a big problem with blueberries. They just spawn at the next option, the laziest second choice. They don't maintain the pace of the game. They don't react to the way things are going. It's just, oh, that fob died? Okay, spawn at that fob. And by the time they're through with that, the game's over. It's already been decided. One of the greatest examples of this is when you lose your defensive fob and it's going double newt and then just everybody on your team now spawns on the fob on offense. Maybe they get a double newt but it doesn't matter because nobody's working on resolving the defense because nobody thought where should I be and built spawns accordingly. They just spawned in wherever they could because the lazy option was there and it was already built. Anyway, to the enemy team's credit, there was one guy who got a truck and started building west of train, and that actually did contest it and make the double newt a little bit more difficult, so fair play to him. He should have taken the safer option since he was the only person on his team reacting to shit and gone to contest me at power, but hindsight is 2020, and he was going against a particularly good team who was immediately ready on next flags. And also, to be fair to the enemy team, once they started losing and they got the double newt on their mercy bleed, they did start reacting to it. It was too late to matter and they should have reacted far earlier, and I had a very great position by setting my people up on that bridge to the east, and they took the most predictable route, which ultimately got them killed in the vehicles that they sent to recapture, but at least they reacted. A lot of teams will just sit there and give up. With all that said, I'll skip ahead to the end screen here and uh, show you guys the results. Oh, Jedi two games. Oh, 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 Watching porn by yourself. No! Get the science feed. I think I'm gonna go to bed.